Hello and welcome back to This Nitty Life. This is episode 20. Big numbers. Um, my name is Rachel and I'm coming to you from Leeds, West Yorkshire, where I live with my husband Rob and my two children, Martha and Theodore. Um, yeah, I'm decided at the last minute to um, squeeze in a podcast. Um, today is one of my non-working days, so I'm just trying to to get it in, really. Um, you can find me on social media as This Nitty Life. It's this underscore nitty underscore life. And on Ravelry, I am reward on Ravelry. So you can check out some of my projects there. So, yeah, I just thought I'd squeeze this in. Um, I wasn't going to because um, I've got quite a lot of whips and a lot of them are kind of nearly done. Um, and I kind of just felt like they're nearly done. And like keep on finishing them, keep going and then you'll have F.O.s. But it's been a while since I've last podcast, so I just wanted to get it done, frankly. So hello and welcome. Today, I, I have my dungarees on today. I am wearing, this is Mountain Mist, which is a tin can knits pattern. You might recognise it. I'm um, uh, making one for Martha. My, what are they, run, run and fly dungarees on today. Um, yeah, um, this is tin can knits. It is in Aran weight. Um, so I I got the this in D stash. This is Levy NME, the grey. Um, I got two Arons in a D stash, and this is Dusty Dimples, out of sight, out of mind. This one is Dye Candy, and this one I think is just either Drops or Malabrigo. So yeah, the sleeves are a bit tight. Um, but yeah, I knit this a while ago, so I just took it on under my dungarees. So I've got lots to share with you today, actually. I've got quite a lot of acquisitions, which I kind of hadn't realised. I had my hair cut. I went back to being short again. It's sticking out because I washed it last night. Um, but yeah, went back to being short. Um, I feel loads better. Do you know, um, I think it was the day before I had it done. It just got a bit long. And when it got a bit long, I kind of had it on top of my head like a troll. And um, we went out to uh, an ice cream parlour place. I want to say I've told you about this. Anyway, we went to an ice cream parlour place and um, either Rob or Martha took a picture of me and I just looked terrible. Um, just not myself. So, yeah, went had my eyebrows done, had my hair cut, dyed it, just do it myself. Um, and I just felt so much better in myself. Um, so, yes, but obviously the hairdressers have now closed now. It is the 9th of November. We are officially back in lockdown. Um, this doesn't dare I say massively affect my life. Um, I work from home anyway. The kids are still at school. Um, Rob works in retail kind of thing. So his hours are a bit skew iffy. Um, obviously I can't see my family, which obviously sucks. And I appreciate this is a, a massive effect on small businesses as well. Um, but generally for day to day life, it's kind of quite, quite normal for me. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to um, kick off with I've just got a couple of little FOs, nothing, um, nothing amazing. Um, but basically I had stuff on the needles and I was going through some of my boxes in the living room and there was stuff that was kind of half finished, nearly finished, pretty finished. So I picked up this. It is just a baby hat. It was, it was um, probably this far. So um, it was on the needles in a bag with the yarn so basically I just spent however long, knit a little bit longer, counted how many stitches I had, which I think was 56, um, which is the newborn size. I decided to do orange because I think I had it past Halloween, what was like imminent. So basically I just finished it because it had been on my needles. So now I've um, resurrected a project bag and resurrected my needles. So this is probably the coffee bean hat. Magic coffee bean, one of those. Yeah, so this is in Drops um, Big Merino, which is one of my favourite baby knits. Yeah, so I think I probably did this for my friend's little boy who has just turned one. Um, he was born, um, but he was born 4th of November, so I, he missed Halloween, so I assume that's why I stopped it. But anyway, I finished it, something off the needles. Yeah, but really nice wearable yarn. So I actually knit this one for the same said baby. So this is my mountain mist. So this is what I've got on today. This is a tin can knits pattern. So this is just the hat version. Um, again, this is in drops. So again, this had just, it got as far as it 
it had the grey on, it had the rib and it had a bit of blue. And then um, I just thought, oh, it's a bit boring, isn't it? Because um, I was probably just going to stripe the blue and the grey. Um, so I decided just to add the orange because I thought, oh, that's it's quite um, like an autumn -y look. Um, I assume I was thinking of pom-pom because I've not done a, a one of these, which is what I normally do, which is just like an eye cord and then sew it in. But yeah, this is um, the mountain mist pattern. So I don't actually know if that's the right size for him. I need to check check what I did because he's got a bit of a big head. Um, I sent her um, one of the kids pumpkin patterns, pumpkin hats, um, like last month. Um, and it's a bit big for him. So he's wearing that at the minute. But yeah, so I finished those. Those two had literally just been kicking about. Um, so I think they're my only um, FOs. Um, I don't even know if I put them on Ravelry because they've just been languishing. Um, but another one that's nearly finished but not quite finished. Another one that had been sat in the drawer um, is this one. So um, I believe this is adult size. can't actually remember. Um, I need to count how many stitches I've got. It does look adult size, doesn't it? Yeah, so I just started to... Um, the contrast isn't high enough. I just started to... Um, just put a little bit of pattern in. This is Drops Alaska. No, it's not. It's Drops. Not the Alaska one, the other one. The other one. You can hear a car. I hope that's not a delivery. Um, hopefully not. Um, yeah, so again, um, I just tried to do a little bit more colour work to make it look a little bit more cohesive. Oh, it's my next one here, but coming back, that's fine. Um, yeah, so basically it just needs a little bit more knitting on and then the decreases. But can you see why it's like, oh, well, I've nearly finished it. Um, so yeah, so that's looks super snuggly. I'm not sure who it's for, but um, some things that I've worked on, am I going really fast? I feel like I'm going really fast. Some things I've worked on that I haven't actually brought over are uh, my rainbow socks. Um, I know I've worked on those, but just like a little piddly bit, like this much. And same with my flamingo socks. I feel like I've gone quite far down the foot on them. And I think I'm kind of nearish doing the toe. Um, and I've also picked up um, my party top sweater. Um, oh, I've just remembered something else. Yeah, I picked up my party top sweater, which needed the sleeves started. Um, this is a bit rubbish, but I'll show you next time. I've just picked up the sleeves and done like this much. Um, that's the greeny greeny spectrum fibre with the bright pink on the collar. Um, something I'd completely forgot about um, that I should have brought in um, is my Guthrie. Um, I actually finished the body of it. Um, so yeah, I forgot about that. It must have been quite a while since my last podcast in hindsight. Um, but anyway, yeah, the body is now finished. Yippee. So now I'm just onto the sleeves. So I did actually, when I first bought this pattern, I did actually buy one of the dinky nine inch circular needles so I need to dig that out and um get going on that like I know it needs long sleeves I really don't want to have to do long sleeves but I'm kind of going to assess it but I've not had chance at the minute um what else can I show you oh, yeah, I'll show you this one this is one of my Halloween bags from Jibby Roo this is my Mon Mane sweater um, I can't quite remember where I was with this, but I feel like I've made lots of progress. I love this. It's getting long. Woo! So this is um, being held together. It's um, This is Old Maiden Ant in the... Something about dark. To the black, it's called it. To the black. Yeah, can you see it's like a... It's got pops in it. Um, I don't think I'm on my second one. My, my other one must be kicking about. Anyway, so I started off with um, this singles at the top, which is a Fab Funky Fibres one. I've got like a piddly bit left. Um, and then I've faded into, but now it doesn't look particularly faded, <laughs> um, into a Kate Celine. So this is the Kate Celine. This is called um, Whiz Bang. W H I Z Z. I think it's whiz bang. Um, so this was a 50 gram I had. So I, ha I did fade into it, um, which you can see. And um, this jumper will actually be worn inside out. So I put, I did actually put the um, collar on it before I really, really ran out. I'll show you. 
Martha used to say that when she was little, which is why I've just said it like that. I show you. I show you, mummy. It's funny how you continue to say things long after they've stopped saying it. My parents do it all the time. Theo can't quite pronounce his L's, so he always has to yuck at something, as in look. Um, so I get text messages quite a lot of times that say, yuck, yuck at this. <laughs> But yeah, this is it going into the Kate Celine. It, I don't think it's actually massively different, but I probably should have faded earlier. Um, it's not massively. I don't think it's. I don't think it's bad. But um, I've re I've really liked how it's working off. Like, look at all those fun pops. So that's how it looks on the knit side. But look, pop 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 pop. Um, yeah, so that's actually getting pretty long so that's from the underarm so I'm kind of working on this a lot when I've got uh, meetings and bits and bobs of online training to do at work um yeah so that's that's really coming along I'm really enjoying that so that's the Mon Man Air pattern so I've made this one before and I used a drops and then an indie um I'm doing a size bigger um this time um because the other one's a bit snug but that took my first one took um, two full indie skeins. So I have actually ordered some more from Kate Celine. And um, she doesn't do the 50 grams anymore. Um, but she does, um, this isn't ready to ship because die to order is something like 40 working days. So this was ready to ship. So it said it will be turned around and posted within seven days. So um, hopefully I'll get that. So basically I just got her pick a mix. So she had a pick a mix selection um, of 10 grams. Yeah, the 10 grams. So I got like five of them to make another 50, basically. Um, or did I get six? And then I just got a couple of other bits, um, just 10 gram ones that I liked of hers. Um, my friend got a really nice one ages ago called Bobbing Along. Um, and that's super cute. Um, so I just got a couple of bits and bobs. Um, I think they were like two pound, two pound 50, two pound 50, a 10 gram. Something like that. So yeah, that's about 20 quid I spent in the end. Um, yeah, so I'm waiting on that coming. Um, so I don't know, I'm not sure when it'll be here, but hopefully at some point. Yeah, so that's my Mon Man Air. I've got some um, cute stitch markers on there. This is from, I got the uh, um, Yorkshire Yarn Fest, the, the one, the real life one, from Anitaway. She's just changed her name. I can't remember what it is now, but it's got a really cute logo. This is getting a bit big for, um, I think, oh, and this was my... Um, Gorgeous, one of my new charms. This is from, well, I'm not sure what happened there. My camera just completely quit and I thought I just lost the first 12 minutes, but I don't think I have. So now I'm gonna to have to get my husband to try and mush those together, because I don't know how to do that. But anyway, onwards we go. So that was Mon Mane. Done, right, what else? Um, This, um, I'm on a wonk now, aren't I, look. Let me straighten you up. Ooh. Right, this is in my gorgeous Otter and Spell bag. Super cute. Um, I started knitting a hat for my famo. The dye candy. Um, and then I kind of, um, I started doing a pattern and then I kind of just got a bit carried away. Um, <laughs> so this is what I've got. So this started off, um, this is one of the Strange Brew patterns from Tin Can Knit. So if you go um, on their website, they've got loads of like colour work charts and stuff. Um, and then I kind of winged it because it was supposed to have a row of this. And then I just kind of just played around with it really. Um, it was my, uh, one of our friend's daughter's birthdays the other day. So she, um, I often make her hats, but now she's just turned five. Um, they live in Newcastle. Um, not that that's relevant, but um, so we don't see them particularly often. Um, but I noticed the other day she posted, um, well, she didn't, her mum posted pictures, um, and they were out and about, and they and she had the hat on I made, I've made her in the past, and it was far too small. Um, so I think I'm actually going to gift this to her. So, um, yeah, so again, like with the other one, it I think this one just needs the decreases now. Um, poor, poor little girl, she was all excited, she went to school for her birthday, got to the school gates, and they're like, Oh, your bubbles in isolation. So she had to come home and I think it had only been two days since her younger brother had just gone back to nursery after isolation. It's it's brutal. Obviously I know it's needed. Uh, we are very lucky to have escaped that yet. Now we've got um, two kids in school. 
we are very lucky. A couple of uh, Martha's friends have had to isolate because the parents have been in contact with somebody or a couple of them, their parents actually have COVID. Um, yeah, quite a lot of them um, work in the health sector. So um, some of them are COVID nurses and some work in care homes. Um, but yeah, we've we've escaped so far, but um, I feel like we're probably not far off it. Um, it's concerning. But yes, this is lovely. I love the dye candy. This is Chip and this is the same out of here. Look, all my bits left. This is Dusty Dimples Out of Sight, Out of Mind in Aaron. This isn't, yeah, this is an Aaron hat. So it's just a strange brew pattern. Um, yeah, but that's nearly done too. Oh, I can feel the sun coming out behind me. Oh no, it's not. It's been really, really, really foggy in Leeds. Um, I'd say for the weekend, um, but like for a good few days, for a good few days, like maybe just before bonfire night. Um, right. What else am I showing you? Right, so something I just started, yeah, mm, what day are we on? Saturday, oh, have I left? No, I haven't. Um, I decided, it's my mum's birthday on Thursday the 12th. Um, and I decided to make her some mittens. She can knit, she doesn't really do it anymore now. Um, anyway, I'm making her some mittens. So I actually finished the first one. So this is in um, Hedgehog Fibres. This is a DK. It's got alpaca in it. It's um, it's quite a thin one. Um, so this is the tinsel pattern. And I, I printed it off, but I just brought one picture. So it's the, oh, sorry, the tinsel mitts, and it's by um, Andrea Mowry. So you can either do them as fingerless, like this, with a flippy toppy bit, or an actual mitten mitten. Um, yeah, so that's an Andrea Mowry one. So yeah, um, I have actually done a smaller needle size just because... Um, my mum's got small hands and um, the yarn, like I said, it's quite, it's quite a thin one compared to others. So I, I wanted them to be warm. So it's got like a slip stitch run through the middle, which you can't really see. But yeah, I started this on Saturday during um, knit group on Zoom um, and finished it yesterday. Well, actually, I was only here yesterday, so I did loads of it. So last night, late last night, like literally quarter to 12, I cast on my next one. Um, so I've done quite a long cuff. Can't remember what size. I think it's supposed to have, um, it's DK, so I think it's supposed to have four millimetres, but that's 3.5 maybe. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm just about to start doing my thumb increases. So I took this on my fun story. I took this on the school run today. Um, as I've probably said before, I've got a 15 minute window we'll call it window, not a giant inconvenience, between dropping Theo off and dropping Martha off. So basically I've got to stand, exposing, not exposing myself, you know what I mean, mask-wise, Covid-wise, um, I do have my mask on, um, in the playground. And um, so I knit on these. So, so I cast on last night and I'd done like three rounds just so it was manageable. I took my lovely Soalicious bag, which... Um, I can never make it look pretty like her, but um, basically I just threaded this through here. It's not supposed to look like that. And had it on my wrist while I was knitting. Um, but um, it's a gorgeous bag. This is the medium size. Um, so is it so? That's going to be backwards, but so delicious, I think. Is it, oh, so yarn delicious. Sorry. So so is in S E W yarn delicious. Yeah. So I had that on my wrist. Um, and I was knitting away and then I had another bag because the kids needed loads of stuff. So I had another bag to carry and then someone brought something that they borrowed off me and then they gave me another bag. And then when I got in, I put my bags down and I was like, oh, it's my knitting bag. And I dropped it on the way back from school. So I was like, ah. Um, so I literally, I literally noticed as soon as I came in the door, thankfully. Um, so I just ran back out and I found it kind of down here and round. A couple of minutes away thankfully but um it wasn't dirty um a lot of school kids um from the high school had just walked past it um and i think it, if it had been there any longer it would have been in in bother or in mud or in dog poo or any of the other delightful things so yeah so i'm working up these so like i said it's my mum's birthday thursday naturally i am not seeing her um which is rubbish. Um, so I basically I need to post these 
tomorrow, don't I, really? So I need to get working on these. Um, yeah, but they're, they're zooming along. Um, I'm going to uh, make myself some as well. Um, I've got some, I got a really nice um, Spectrum Fibre a few weeks ago that I want to use. Um, I was working last week and I've been working in the kitchen instead of, um, I had been working in the bedroom, which is where the, technically the office chair is and stuff, but I just wasn't getting on with it. So I've been working in the kitchen, but it was just so cold last week. And obviously the heating's not on in the kitchen because it's a kitchen. Um, and it was, I was just freezing and last week wasn't a good week. I was so miserable. Um, everything was bothering me. Everything was getting to me. Um, and it was so, so cold. So um, I'm going to make some of these uh, for myself. When I finish these, I'm going to make myself some. And maybe everyone else for Christmas as well. So yeah, excuse me, they're speeding along. Yeah, and that's, that's tinsel, the tinsel mitts. Oh, that's another pattern here. Tinsel like tinsel like Christmas. Excuse me. Right, and then something else in this beautiful bag. I love this Christmas bag. Is a Christmas jumper. So I signed up for a test knit. So that's quite exciting. Oh, the lights changed again. It's like fun every minute. Whoa. Um, yeah, oh, I don't need to see the chart, do you? So this is a test knit that I saw, I saw come up like as in, it's coming soon, it's coming soon. I thought, oh, I really want that, I really want that. I really want to make that for Christmas. Um, and then I saw it wasn't coming out until the 1st of December. I was like, oh no. So it's called My Dear Sweater and it is by Tanya Barley. So can you see, it's got... Like a little chevron at the top, then it's got like a Christmas tree and then reindeers. So, um, yeah, I went on the Ravelry group and asked if I could do it. And then she emailed me the pattern. So I was a little behind um, quite a lot of the other people. Um, but last Monday, I, I had all the yarn for this. Last Monday, I sat for all day and knit on this. Um, and then I knit again on it on Friday when I wasn't working. Um, but then I realised I'd done it wrong. I just read the chart wrong, which is super annoying. So naturally, I'm doing it in Christmas, Christmas colours. So you can see I've done it wrong. I've had to wind back. So these are Castleview yarns. This is Poison Apple, which is like an awesome red. And this is one of my favourites, Loki. So this is how... I can only assume I'm allowed to show you because, you know, this is how far I've got. So last night I spent ages trying to fix it. So it's got some cute little kind of bobble bits here, which I've never done before, but it was really easy. Um, yeah, so I've used the dark, oh, that's a dark grey. I think that's a rainbow heirloom. So this is where the Christmas tree's starting. So what I did wrong was, can you see there's um, one stitch, then three, then one, one, and then three. I'd, I'd missed the three out down here. And I was actually onto the reindeer um, before I realised and they just didn't look like Christmas trees. Um, so I had to rip it back. And um, my friend, my lovely friend Jane, offered to rip it back for me. Um, she doesn't live far away, so I could drop it off and then I go and get it like the next day or whatever. But um, I tried to put the needle through and kind of just go back that way, but it just wasn't working. Um, so I just frogged it last night, which was painful and... I lost a bit of stitches, um, but I fixed it. So now it is in a position of where it should have been, shall we say. Um, so I need to catch up on this a bit today, which is um, which is my plan for today after I've posted these, frankly, gigantic parcels out for my husband. Yeah, so that's a gorgeous pattern. Got a cute little gingerbread man on there and this little Christmas tree. Yeah, because Halloween and bonfire night is over, so it's Christmas time. I've got Christmas nails on too. Um, yeah, so I'm going to pick up on that and get going on that. So I had to, I reprinted out um, the chart pattern because I'd, oh, I'd gone a bit further. Not massively, not massively, but it's just quite time consuming. So I was, I was annoyed. And then my reindeers are going to be in this grey, which I don't know what it is, frankly. Maybe a rainbow heirloom. I don't. I don't actually know. Yeah. So that's. Um, I'm trying to know who this is. For. Oh, this is a Jibby Roo one. This was last year. I do need a bit of a bigger, a bigger one. So I've put everything in this tub because um, we're on a bit of a tidy kick at the minute. 
and uh, when I podcast I'm literally terrible for just leaving it all out like it'll just be out for ages so I'm gonna put everything back in that tub um and then I'm gonna share um just a pattern that I got recently I can't remember if I showed you this in the last one but I'm gonna show you again this is the Riverbend beanie so this is a super chunky pattern um, so when I follow on Instagram, Claire something, Claire, um, knit some gorgeous um, hats. She's expecting a baby next January um, and she knit some gorgeous ones. So um, with the Super Chunky, I knit, I think it was called the Jade Beanie and it had like a piddly bit left over. Piddly is a technical term. A little bit left over. Um, and I just thought this would be really nice as the contrast. So if you get just like a solid colour for this bit. Um, just to make sure you're using every every last bit up because um, yeah. So I bought that recently. Um, what else did I buy? I bought something the other day. I got a tinsel one. I don't know. Right. So I'm going to share some acquisitions with you. Um, try not to take up too much of your time. Um, so I'm going to share some acquisitions with you. There are a fair few. If you don't want to watch acquisitions, then don't. Basically. Um, so I'll just do them in order that they arrived. Okay. Drop them on the floor. So this one is a gorgeous Christmas yarn. This is called Nordic Christmas. This is DK and this is by Hedgerow Yarns. I do have three of these. These are the ones upstairs hiding. So gorgeous, gorgeous speckles. That blue is like a really quite a bright blue. So I'm, I'm picturing colour work up here and then the body in this so um but I think I want to pull the blue out yeah I want to pull that bright blue out is my plan um yeah so I got these off her off her website yeah super super lovely these have got nylon in them so merino with nylon but yeah got those um then I got my, um, I did the Spectrum Fibre Club this month. Um, you can just drop in and drop out of that as and when. So if you don't want to see the Spectrum Fibre Club, if uh, this is November, October's colourway, so if you don't want to look, look away now. But this is called Fallen Leaves, which is dreamy. Look at those speckles, man. Gorgeous, gorgeous neon orange there. Hubba. Hobber again, DK. DK is my jam at the minute. Um, I and then I got this. It's been a while. It's okay. This is um floof, floof fiber and yarn. So um, this is the crackle colorway. So this is an Aran. So this actually comes. The postage is only one ninety nine. So it comes flat, as in not skinned up. Um, so I've kind of tied it together and I appreciate it doesn't look its best, but it is beautiful. <laughs> and frankly, I'd rather pay £1.50 less and have it not skinned up. But she had um, a very generous sale, I think she had 20% off over Halloween and stuff. So I got this gorgeous one. So that might well be a hat. And the fallen on the floor. Okay. <sighs> you bored yet it's fine this is fear of the dark by my fabulous friend jen at castleview yarns look at this super chunky look at that man it's so nice this is totally gorgeous i have a small weakness for super chunky at the minute so and the floof the floof lady Brilliant. Um, has just started doing super, super chunky and she put some pictures on her Instagram this morning or last night, yesterday, of um her super chunky and it looks gorgeous. But yes, this is lovely. That's Fear of the Dark. So I got that one. I could not resist this. Look. Look. This is Dolores and this is on the more hair. No, I don't know what it's going to be yet. Don't guilt me by asking me. It'll be a garment, won't it? Let's be obvious. Honest. Let's be honest, not obvious. Well, obviously, it's probably going to be a garment, isn't it? Yeah, so this is 
ridiculously beautiful. That's Delora's based on Harry Potter. And I got some of her 50 gram skeins. So again, this is also Dolores and this is um, her 50 gram. So this is a 100% superwash mer merino. So this is quite a fat DK. I wonder if you can tell compared to this one. This one's really quite thin, which is the Hedgehog. I don't know. It's quite um, plump. And I also got, this is Rita, as in Rita Skeeter. But I thought these work really well with this. So I might, um, well, particularly the green. I don't know if the pink, because that's got red in. But she also does a one called Speechless, I think it's called. That's the blue, so I might have to get that too. But yeah, these are, I think these are 850, the 50 grams. So they're fabulous for if you're knitting colour work and you don't need the full amount. Like, I know this is Aaron, but this barely takes any in the throwover, which I do, which um, someone alerted me was actually an Aaron pattern, but I did it in DK. Um, you barely need anything for them. I'm sure it was like less than 20 grams. So yeah, so these are, totally gorgeous Jen's doing so fabulously she has um released um a 12 days of Christmas advent calendar um based on the sound of music um yeah so that's exciting um I think she's got a few spots left actually I think she's due to post them I'm sure she said she's dying them up today so I think they're due to be posted kind of the next couple of weeks if you want to hop on that um but yeah I think that's pretty much all I've got um at the minute, I'm, I'm conscious of rambling on too much. Just life updates. Oh, I, you can't see. I got a tattoo. It says Ohana, which means family in Hawaiian. And um, we went to Hawaii. It's, it's healed nice now. We went to Hawaii on our honeymoon. Um, and, I, and, you, and they're actually... It's quite big. Look, it's quite big. I got three little birds. There you go. <laughs> Based on the Bob Marley song. Three Little Birds, which was played. It's just cut off again. Yeah, uh, Three Little Birds by Bon Marley was on the radio, playing in the operating theatre as I had Martha. Um, you might be familiar with that song, that every little thing's gonna be all right. And I really, really needed to hear it right then. So yeah, it's a special song to me. Um, Theo's been learning it at um, school, actually. Um, yeah, so the a tattoo place I follow in Leeds. Um, just posted that they had some availability for some small tattoos. So I did that. I actually used some of my grandparents' inheritance money that I was given. Um, because I am good at fritting, flitting stuff away. Um, so that's an extra special tie that I know. Yeah. I'm wanting to get some nitty stitches as well. I think I'm going to get them kind of here-ish. I did plan originally on getting that there. But when we kind of um, stenciled it out, it looked better there. Um, it has been a bit of a pain in terms of me working because it's right kind of on the corner of the table where I sit. Um, BBC update, always fun. Yeah, but it's it's healing now. Um, in other exciting life news, we had our loft finished. Um, so we had uh, the hatch made bigger and we had a ladder fit. And this last week, uh, the guys came in and boarded it all. So it's all got like floorboards in now. Um, Rob worked super hard back end of last week. Um, we had loads of like carpet offcuts from when we moved in 10 years ago. Um, so he's like carpeted it all basically. Um, and we had a big, big sort um, the other week um, of stuff. So everything that's gone back up there, whilst we don't necessarily need all of it. A lot of it's like uni stuff. Um, sentimental stuff that we don't want to get rid of but we've called loads of it i bagged loads of things up and um i'm a member of this free cycle group on facebook um i had loads of like covers for the sofa that we had when we first moved in together um so i washed them all and got them sorted and i had they were all like they were turquoise so i had loads of like turquoisey accessories um i decided we had too much bedding so i just washed all the bedding to make it fresh um and i found some like tea light Hand, like tray things just loads of bits and bobs housey stuff so put anyone want any of this with some floating shelves and um, so I dropped that round to um a young mum who um was living on her own and just wanted some more things to make it more homely 
Um, so she was really appreciative of that. And then um, she passed on some of it as well to her cousin who was just kind of starting out. So that was great. Um, I also called some Christmas decorations. There was a shout out um, recently for a care home. Um, just they want more decorations just to try and jolly everyone up because obviously the care home situation is going to be um, very difficult um, this festive season. Um, yes, I'm horribly missing my grandparents, but I'm also very grateful that this wasn't the end that they had. Um, not that it was particularly a fun end, but that we weren't not able to see them. Um, yeah, it's coming up um, to a year of my granny's death in September, actually, in December, sorry. Um, yeah, and obviously it was Remembrance Day yesterday, um, well, on the Sunday, and um, my sister really joined in with that with my granddad, because my granddad, it meant a lot to my granddad. Um, and she posted videos of them last year when they went, when they took him out, and just made, he just made it out of hospital then from the care home, and he was clapping along to the brass band. So that was, that was really nice, yet horribly sad to see. Um, but yes, the loft is looking fabulous. We got some storage off Facebook Marketplace. Um, so my husband has now moved like piles that have been piling up. He does um, like a reselling job. So he's got an eBay shop, which um, keeps him really busy, which is what these huge boxes are. So all, all of the stuff that's basically been crowding like random places like behind me was like up to the window. Um, and our stairs, we've got two flights of stairs. That was nearly up to the window, so it's all gone. So the house is starting to look loads better. The bedroom's looking loads better. Um, and it's it's definitely helping with stress levels. Um, he woke up the other day and he's like, it feels like we're in a hotel, because um, it was tidy. <laughs> so yeah, so we're really trying to kind of keep on top of that. Um, we got a new sofa recently, which was completely random. Um, car boot sale. <laughs> but it reclines, and I think I've fallen asleep in it nearly every night. Um, yeah. Oh, what else? Oh, yes. Uh, something big in America just happened. Did we finally get some results? Biden and Harris got in White House wise. So I am thrilled. Um, I, I won't lie. I've, I was very tense last week. Last week was a rough week uh, with the election. I'm in the UK. In theory, it doesn't affect me. But I feel like Trump has affected the world frankly, and probably all, all of the countries he's encountered and been involved in. And I just feel like, like a relief. And Rob even said, you giddy. And I was, I was just watching all the coverage, watching the speeches, like amazing for Kamala Harris, amazing to get a woman as vice president, a woman of colour, a vice president, even more amazing. I was explaining this to Martha. And she's like, the first time ever, a woman. I was like, yep, the first time ever. And I've always told them about how horrid Trump is, really. And um, obviously, we've had it on the telly and been watching the numbers. Theo likes his numbers. And he's like, why aren't the numbers changing? And I was like, oh, because they need to count, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then he's like, who do we want to win? I was like, we want the Blues to win. Um, um, and he's like, why Why do we not want the Reds to win? I was like, oh, well, the Reds are a bad guy. And then um, he's like, well, I'm worried that the, Red, the Reds will win. I was like, yeah, I'm worried about that too. Um, and it stayed the same. And then he came up to our bed the next morning and he got into bed. He's like, mummy. I'm worried that the Reds are going to win. <laughs> Bless his little heart. He wasn't really. But um, yeah, so he's very excited. So when uh, we found out, we were on um, a walk outside in the mist um, and fog. And um, he came in and he's like, can I see the numbers? Because he wanted to see them on the screen. So it was what, 273? Or 272? So yeah. Um, happy, happy days. Long struggle ahead. But I'm so relieved for so many of my American friends um it's exciting it's exciting times if you don't agree tough I'm happy and excited um and I feel like there's hope again for the future so just roll on was it January 20th 23rd something like that roll it on right that's it I'm gonna wrap up now it's 12 o'clock um I was trying to FaceTime Carly have I not even mentioned her yet she has to FaceTime and I was going to um, podcast first. So I'm just going to, am I going to do that? We tend to like, oh, we'll just do half an hour. And then like two hours later, I've got to run off to the school run. Um, and that's kind of how it goes. So maybe I'll do my parcels first and then I'll FaceTime her. But I really need to get going on my test knit um, and my mum's mitts. 
so yeah i need to um i really i'm really really struggling with my phone lately just in terms of i just can't get off it um it's hideous the amount of time i'm on it i really try to like literally just chuck it to the other side of the room like get away from me <laughs> anyway thank you very much for joining me today i hope um this was an okay episode if you'd like to tell your friends and spread the word and try and get my numbers up a little bit um yeah i have consciously tried to do it a little bit shorter um, because I know um, they're getting a bit long. Um, but um, yeah, if you want to um, like and subscribe, tell your friends, tag me on Instagram, show me what you're making or working on. I love comments. Please comment. Tell me what I can make with my two glorious mohair. I know I've got four million love notes. I'm going to do a red love note soon when I can find my six millimetre needles. Um, so I need something else in these. Any good pattern suggestions? any anything you're excited about have you put your christmas tree up yet we're having a little downtime because we went hard and heavy on the halloween so we're just having a little bit of clear space before we attack the christmas thing but we know where all our christmas decorations are now and they're all neatly stacked in the loft so yeah so that's all from me thank you very much i appreciate you watching and taking time out of your day um stay safe wherever you are Mask space face, mask fit, you know, wear your mask, people, where you can, obviously. Um, but yeah, I really hope you're doing okay and give a shout out if you're not. Um, don't suffer in silence. Um, it's a very difficult time for everyone. Someone will always be able to reach out to you um, if you let them know. My inbox is always open. I can normally reply reasonably well. But just don't, um, if you're struggling mentally, just don't do it alone, okay? So I will catch you later. That's a sombre note to end on, isn't it? Sorry. But, you know, these are scary times. And I'm going to end it there. <laughs> catch you later, guys. Bye.